So in this video, we're going to make a payment to a vendor. So there's two different ways to make a payment to a vendor or to vendors. One is to make a single check out to a vendor. So for that, we'll go to payables. We'll go to new payment. And again, you could find these things simply by, you know, typing in payment and vendor. Acumatica will quickly search and you could find it. So checks and payments and stuff. So in this case, what we're going to do is pick our vendor. Okay? and the payment method. So in Acumatica, we have multiple payment methods. We can tie the payment methods to what types of cash accounts we support. So our check is gonna come right out of our company checking account. That's our cash account. Uh, additionally, we have options for Fedwire. Acumatica could produce the ACH file. Um, and then additionally, what you can do is you can default what payment method you use with the vendor. So if we look in the vendor profile and we go to payment settings, you'll see that that's what we have. We have the check payment method and that's the cash account that we're using by default. Okay. So now a couple of things we could do here. First of all, we can go off and pick the bills we want to pay. So we come over here, we're selecting a bill, um, we select it. So we'll come over here and we'll select our check date, typically be today. We're going to select our vendor, so Eastcom Electronics. And there's a couple of different ways we can do this. So when we select our vendor, what we notice here is its default payment method comes up. So if we just take a quick look at the vendor profile and we look at payment settings, you can see that's what it is. It's the check payment method. And this is the cash account that we pull from. These are configuration settings and the banking settings. So there's two ways to do this. We can either give an amount. So let's say we have, you know, $500 to write out to this vendor and then we'll figure out what invoice is later. Or we can come in here and pick the bills that we want to select. So we'll go in here and we'll press F3 or we'll click the magnifying glass. We'll select uh, this smaller invoice. By default, Acumatic is going to try and pay the total amount, but you can come in here and you can make a change. 5,000. We can come in here and select another invoice and maybe select 20,000 for that. So we can do that. If there's any cash discount available, we can certainly take it. So your cash discount depends on the terms of these bills. So if it was, for example, 2% in 10 days, we would see a cash discount that was available that we could take, okay? So that's one way to do it, but if I get rid of these, and I basically say, okay, uh, we're gonna write a $10,000 check here, as an example, and then I press load documents, Acumatica will go out and pick the oldest invoices first. So the oldest invoice had a far greater balance, uh, 75000 in total. We're paying 10000 This is the total balance. We'll move that column over. So uh, not a great example, but if I go back in, and maybe I change this to 85000 so just a little bit north of the first, the oldest invoice. Now what you see is Acumatica picked and chose and paid the oldest invoice and then came around and found this one and apply ten thousand dollars to it. There's still thirty-four seventy-two fifty left on it. So from this point, we can select actions, take it off hold, select actions, and print the check. And Acumatica will come in here based on the cash account. It knows the next check number, but you can change it here if you need to. If we select process here. then Acumatica will bring us to a PDF where we can print out our check. Now this is 
of course, configurable to match your check stock. We support maker printing. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility here. So now when I come back, Acumatica asks us whether or not we want to release this, meaning everything went well, the check printed out fine, or we have other options. We could reprint this simply or reprint with another number. If you're using check stock that has the check numbers on it, you may find yourself using this from time to time, especially if you have a shared printer and somebody prints before you get a chance to print out your check. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're going to release it and process. Okay, and this is done. Now, the other way is to do a check run, where we take multiple invoices and we run them through a check run where there's different vendors and we'll get a, a different check for each vendor. So for that, we'll go into prepare payments. We'll select our payment method. And this will show us all the checks that are available. Now, before we go any further, I want to show you a preference. So if we go into our AP preferences, we take a look. Acumatica has an option to require approval of bills prior to payment. So that's another screen that gives us the ability to basically have someone in charge of cash flow who can approve the bills that are ready for payment. So this gives us the ability to maybe approve, you know, maybe we have a hundred thousand where I'm in charge of cash flow. I'd like to release 100,000 in AP, and that's it. And once I do that, and that preference is turned on, then those invoices are available under this screen, but not before. And again, if this preference is turned on, which we don't have it on, so we'll move on to our prepare payments. So over here, we have the ability to filter uh, by our vendor. We can uh, change the pay date within so in Acumatica, you can have the due date of the invoice, or you can use the uh, invoice date. There's a number of different preferences you could do there. Um, due date within seven days. So you have the ability to pay early if you want, uh, filter by cash discount. Um, by default, always take the cash discount. Okay. Um, and then over here, we have the ability to change the payment date. If we're trying to get the check date for tomorrow, for example, we can come in here and choose tomorrow. So over here, we'll select the bills we want to pay. So right now, we've selected a, an invoice for Edison Power, Verizon Telecom, River Build, uh, West Rental Offices. You notice that if the data in the columns too big. If we hover over Acumatica, it pops it up for us. Um, and if we look down uh, below, or if we sort by vendor, we can check off these other two invoices for Eastcom. So this will have two invoices that are being paid on it. So over here, if we say process, now Acumatica brings us to that very same screen with the next check number. And it shows us, it presents us with all the checks that are ready to go to print in our check run. So we'll come in here, we'll say process. And now we'll have, we have four different checks on different pages. And again, this particular ESCOM has two bills that are being paid. If we go back to our Acumatica screen, we have the ability to release this or reprint or reprint with new numbers. Again, that would start us off at about uh, 1009 for the check because we started with 1005 before. So that's printing out checks, making check payments in Acumatica. Uh, all of these are set up to print checks. But in Acumatica, you have the ability to do, of course, record manual checks in situations where you may be doing uh, maybe an online payment 
or something along those lines. And those settings are inside your payment method uh, along with cash account where you can create another one and turn off the setting of, if I go back here to check and I look for my AP settings, I can create another payment method for maybe manual purposes and select not required. So thanks very much for watching. At the end of the video, you'll see a contact slide. Please reach out to us should you have any questions. Thank you so much.